Okay, so this video is to instruct you on how to graph using Excel, which is a graphing spreadsheet that we'll be using. If you look, uh, I've posted the element card arrangement, um, an answer key to that, one possible arrangement, and you'll notice that I've gone in and filled in some of the real elements, so lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, um, here on the cards. You'll need to go through and fill in the rest of the elements in order to identify the missing element. But what you are asked to do then in the analyzing is graph the values such as ionization energy, uh, electronegativity, and atomic radius, the three periodic trends that we know of in Excel versus atomic number. So what you do to do that, I'm going to make Excel pretty big here, you're going to start by typing atomic number into your independent variable column, which is your X column. Y is going to be ionization energy or atomic radius or whatever you end up using. And then you're going to fill in the atomic numbers, so lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, I filled in their atomic numbers all the way to the last one, which I have not completed yet, so you'll need to finish doing that. And then I started filling in the ionization energies from the cards that went for those atomic numbers. In order to graph this data, what you're going to do is highlight all the data you want to graph, and then you're going to go to Insert. You're going to look here for a chart called an Insert Scatter Chart, and you're going to pick the first one that has no buttons or anything on it. And it should graph it for you. Let's see. Yeah. And so it should graph it for you. And you want to make sure you put some labels on here. So we're going to go to Add um, Axis Titles. And then you can click in here and type the name. And then click down here and type the name. So this should be Atomic Number down here on the X. And this should be Ionization Energy on the right. Or left, excuse me, and then you're going to do that for each of your um, trends. So ionization energy, peri um, atomic radius, and electronegativity. Now what I'd like you to do is take these, right click and copy them, put them into a Word document so that all three fit on one page, and then you're going to print those and bring them to class so we can take a look at them.